Hi there, this is Natasha. I am a crochet tutor and designer at My Creative Butterfly. I design crochet patterns, courses and classes from beginner till advanced level crocheters. I teach crochet through all these mediums not just as a hobby but also as a tool that will help you become more mindful in your day-to-day -day life. I have taught more than 2500 students globally and I have been crocheting for more than 29 years now. Welcome to my YouTube channel and if you like what you learned today, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you do not miss out on any of the new tutorials that I put out. In this tutorial today, we will see how to crochet these pearl bead hoop earrings. These are quick and easy to make. You can make them for yourself or as a gift for someone special. These will work up quickly and are advanced beginner or intermediate level uh, project. So let us see how to crochet these and before that let us see the tools and materials that you will need to create these hoop earrings for yourself. So the first thing that I will use is the thread. I am using a moisturized cotton size 20 thread in grey color. You can use any color of your choice. With this you will need a 1.5 mm crochet hook pair of scissors for cutting off the thread, a tapestry needle for weaving in the ends for finishing off the earrings, a plier, you can use any plier for handling the hoops, then small uh, metal hoops, these are silver hoops that I am using, these are around 1 inch in diameter, you can use any uh, diameter but try not to use smaller ones use bigger ones because smaller ones will uh, occupy a lot of space when you will crochet in them and uh, it will be difficult for you to wear them so use bigger hoops don't go for smaller than these ones then i'm using some glass pearl beads you can replace the beads also if you want with any one that are available with you so i'm using three sizes this is 8 mm this is 5 mm and this is 3 mm all these are off white glass pearl beads. Use any good quality beads that you have. So, this is all the tools and materials that you will need. Now, let us see how to crochet. So, before we start with the crocheting of the hoops, we are going to put the beads in the hoop and then we'll start with the crocheting part. So, just open the hoop and I'm just going to straighten out this bent section of the hoop so that I can easily string the beads through it. Now start stringing the beads with the smallest one first. String the smallest one, then the medium sized and then two large ones. Then again one medium sized and one small one. Now I am going to bend this portion again as it was before. Now your hoop is ready for crocheting. So let us start with the crocheting. I am not going to put a slip knot on the thread. I am just going to directly start with the single crochet. So do one single crochet in the hoop. We are not going to count this as a stitch. Do one more single crochet. Then do chain 2. Now pull the first bead close to the work. And do one more single crochet on the other side of the bead. If you are using a different size beads. Then you might need to adjust the number of chains that I just did here. For a 3 mm uh, bead and a size 20 crochet cotton thread. 2 chains are enough. Now do 3 chains. And pull the next bead close and do one more single crochet on the other side of the bead. Then do 5 chains, pull the big bead, one single crochet. Again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chains. Again pull the bead close and one more single crochet. Then 3 chains. 
then one more single crochet on the other side of the next bead and then two chains in the end and again a single crochet on the other side so with this your first row is complete now for the second row turn the work we are going to skip the last single crochet that we did and we are going to go in this chain two that we did on the small bead and do two single crochets here then do a picot so for picot do chain three and i'm going to do a slip stitch here in this front loop of the previous single crochet and the vertical bar there are a number of different ways to do uh, picots you can do the picot with whichever method you find suitable for yourself now we'll do two more single crochets in the same loop so with this our first scallop is done now for the second one i'm going to skip the single crochet again and go in the next chain gap then do one single crochet one half double crochet and one double crochet Again, we'll do a picot. So for picot, do chain three and slip stitch in this vertical bar and the front loop of the previous stitch. Now to finish off this scallop, I am again going to do one double crochet, one half double crochet stitch, and a slip a uh, single crochet. Sorry. So the second scallop is done. Now for the third one, again, do we are going to skip the single crochet stitch, go in the chain gap, do one single crochet, one half double crochet. Now do six double crochets in the same loop. So one, two. Three, four, five, and six. Now this time we are going to do the next double crochet in this single crochet stitch. Now we are going to do these three petals that you can see here. This is these are going to be done on the double crochet that we just made. So for doing the petal, do two chains. Now I'm going to do two double crochets the same way as I did the picot. So I'm going to do these double crochets in these two loops. I'm going to do all the stitches for all three petals in these two loops only. So finish the double crochet. Now do one more double crochet in the same place. Then chain two and a slip stitch in the same place as you did the previous double crochet. Again chain two. two double crochets again chain two and a slip stitch in the same place repeat the same thing one more time because we need three petals so two chains two double crochets again chain two and a slip stitch in the same place So here the three of our petals are done. Now we are going to finish the other half of the earring. It is going to be the same as the first half. You just have to go in the reverse order. Make sure that you don't twist it. So now I'm going to start again working in this five chain loop. So we'll do six double crochets in this loop. Now do a half double crochet. 
and then a single crochet now we are going to skip this single crochet stitch and go in the next three chain loop do a single crochet then one half double crochet and then a double crochet again do a pico again one double crochet one half double crochet and then a single crochet stitch now go in the last two chain loop again skip this single crochet stitch go in the next loop do two single crochets then a pico and then again two single crochets now to finish it off i'm just going to do a slip stitch in this first single crochet that we made so here the crocheting part is done now to finish off just cut off the thread leaving a long tail so that we can weave it in easily so now just shape it by pulling the stitches gently with your fingers if you want you can block it blocking is just a method of soothing out the stitches so for that just dampen the earring make sure that you don't spoil the beads so just dampen it and then stretch it uh, gently with your fingers and then just lay it on a flat surface and let it dry in shade once it is dry it will hold, hold its shape if you want it to be even more sturdy then you can also apply some fabric stiffener to it so this is all make one more uh, earring just like this to complete the pair you can use different colors you can also change the thickness of the thread uh, to see how it looks if you use finer thread it will lo look more uh, delicate you can use a thicker thread to give it a more bulky and bold look you can change the colors you can use a multicolored thread as well if you want you can use multicolored beads here so there are a number of ways in which you can personalize this earring to fit your style so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial as much as i enjoyed creating it if you liked what you learned today don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so that you do not miss out on any of the new tutorials that i put out uh, also if you have any questions please feel free to put them in the comments i'll be more than happy to answer all the queries so that is all from my side thank you so much for watching happy crocheting bye bye